mean, there is a train of thought. You guys in management, if you're out too long, you can begin to fear that you might be forgotten about. Does that go through your mind? Yeah, I can understand that. But when I first went out, I, I think I was out of the game for four years. And um, I think I mentioned before, then Harry Kuehl rang me and, and then it went from there just to, to go and help him out. So that doesn't worry me because what I know and what I bring to the table, if you like, uh, the knowledge that I have and the experience and, and then passing on to players and improving players, I, I know that that will never go away. So, yes, would I like to get back in the game? Of course I would because I think it's a waste me just sitting at home or going on holidays then passing on my knowledge to improve players and, and especially young ones. Yeah. As an owner, Simon, do you look at things from a different viewpoint in that this fellow's been out of football for a while, so I might not go in his direction, but this guy has been weeks out, so I might go in his? Um, well, there's no one size fits all, is there? I mean, ultimately, the personality, a lot of people employ people based upon their perception of them or certainly to speak to them on their perception of them. There's always an element of currency if people are around and busy and available in your mind's eye because you've seen them or seen them recently and it draws to your attention. But that's down to his representation. His agents will move him around, talk to him about various people. But no, I don't think it's that. I think ultimately it's a case of if, you, if, you, if you've got someone's work in your mind and whether that's his job at Birmingham, which I thought he was foolish to take, but that's his choice, or whether it's Jerry's work at Charlton, you'd talk to them about that and, and, and have that conversation so I don't think people go out of vogue, yeah. uh, certainly not at certain levels. Not, not Outside the Premier League, there's more length and breadth to people necessarily not having to be employed constantly or be in the, in the minds of people fresh and, and focused. But, sure thing. but it's an ideal scenario to be constantly visible. Otherwise, people do forget. People forget the reality of what you've done because you're not current. So to touch on that, Lee, do you have a team of people working on your behalf? Yeah, I've got an agent that obviously speaks to people when things come available and, and if it would suit. Um, like Simon said, when, when I went to Birmingham, it was under difficult circumstances. I knew that at the time, but I still stand by it because I helped a club that I'd played for in the past and, and done everything that I said I would do. So I, I can understand Simon saying, well, you're crazy for going there. Everybody said that to me. It wasn't just Simon that said that. No. But uh, I'd done everything that I set out to do. So. And you've no regrets? I have no regrets at all, no. Yeah, well, Leeds United job, it's come up again, Lee. I know for a fact Leeds United means a lot to you because you've got great empathy with the, the fans there, having played there. But there were links to you following the sacking of Javi Gracia, were there not? Did you expect a call? Did you get a call around those times? Um, without going into too much detail, then there was... A message or two exchanged, and and uh, the decision from from the club was to go with Big Sam because of experience, um, and obviously, unfortunately for for the football club, that that didn't work out. But going forward, I like to think that we would have a conversation at some stage, um, and maybe try and put something together. If it had been different, would you have taken on what Big Sam took on? Uh, Try and keep us up with four to go. Uh, for sure. When I went in at Birmingham, I know it's a completely different league. Um, but everybody said that Birmingham was dead and buried when I took over there. So would I have fancied my chances to, to maybe keep Leeds up? Of, of course I would. Um, but that, that's the past. You can't change the past now. So Did you think Sam would leave? Uh, I, I thought whoever went in there was going to be difficult. But I, I focused on, on the games, the Tottenham game at home because I knew the crowd would get behind them um, and the West Ham away game because I knew West Ham would be focusing on this and they did. West Ham focused on, on the on the cup competition because they was already safe and those were the two that, that I would have really focused on and, and, and tried to get something from. Now we know Leeds United still manager less. Steven mm. Gerrard is being mentioned. Again, if the phone call came, you'd jump at it. Oh, for sure. Obviously, I have a, a connection with the club and I understand the club and I think that's important for whoever goes in there next. But if I got the call, then I'd love to go there and and get that club going again and get the fans on side and, and get the place bouncing again. I, I would definitely uh, jump at the chance for sure. I mean, you, to get going again, they need to win matches. You'd be confident you would go in there and from the get-go in the Championship, you would get them winning games. Yeah, I, I know the Championship now. I've done a few years of 
of management now. I understand it. I watched it all last season, and and you analyse and, and and see what it takes to to get promotion. Um, so yeah, I, I believe if I went in there, I would I would get them promoted here. I mean, you you know, as a perspective, as an owner, a perspective employer, Simon, you you like that kind of confidence, don't you? Well, yeah. I mean, of course, he's hardly going to turn around and say he couldn't do the job, could he? I mean, that's the nature of the piece. He's going to say he could do the job. Whether he could do the job is a different matter. Whether he can work with the current ownership model, because I don't think that's particularly easy either. These are all factors. If you talk about uh, Lee Bowie, you think decent, solid fella. You know, says what he means, mean what he says, did a good job at Charlton. Challenging circumstances at Birmingham. Is he got the chops to get a team out of the Championship into the Premier League? Who knows? Because he's not managed at that, le- that level yet. And there is a difference. And they've got a group of players coming down from the Premier League with a malaise, which is they've come down stinking the place out and been poor. The games that you would have expected Sam to have done better in were the West Ham and Tottenham games, and they did precisely the polar opposite, and they got a decent result against Newcastle. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't can't square that circle in your mind's eye, can you? And that probably, that, 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 that draw against Newcastle, which they should have won, probably did for them psychologically because that game was there to be won. I think yeah. also did for Sam. Mm-hmm. But he should be in conversations. Whether those conversations are concluded by his ability to talk to an owner in a proper fashion when he's doing some form, some form, form of interview, well, that's, who knows? Only he knows. Yeah, yeah. What, is it, what would you envisage in a situation like that, Lee? I mean, presumably it's down to how you perform in the day in front of Radrazani and whoever else. But you've got a bunch of self-confidence of that, I know. Yeah, and, and I've spoken to him in the past. I, I, I've been to Ellen Road many times and had conversations with the owner and, and we get on really well. And, and he's always said that he likes me, especially when I got promotion um, with Cholton against all the odds. Uh, we played against Leeds in the Championship three, four, five games in and, and, and we beat Leeds. And then he came in and said, that, like, how have you done that? Like, what, what was your thinking? And and I explained certain things and he said, no, you, you're really good and, and one day you will manage his football club. So let, let's just see, see what happens in, in, in the near future. So to those, Lee, who might say, well, you played for Leeds United, yes, but managing Leeds United may be too big for Lee Boyer. What would you say to them? I don't think anything's too big. Everything's a challenge, whether it's to keep a, a, a team in, in a division or whether it's to get promotion. I've done both. I've had a promotion and I've kept a team in a division. So I've got two two things to my to my credit, which, which I believe I've worked hard at and, and, and earned it. Good. Keep that phone beside you. It might start ringing. <laughs> Lee Boyer's with us all the way through until one. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.